Good evening, everyone. Hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. I'm Tracy Williams and wanted to share um, an experience that we had at an outreach last Saturday, September 15th, with World Overcomers Church. Um, my mother, um, Cheryl, and my sister, Sharonda, um, our sister, Elder Cynthia Scales, um, who's a member of the church, and I went to, um, along with several other volunteers and members from the church, I went to the North Memphis community to conduct an outreach and to just find out what the needs of the community uh, were. And uh, the people there were so gracious to give us their responses. And we saw everything from, or heard everything from uh, dealing with crime to getting a park for the young people to play to dealing with uh, speed bumps and um, on and on. One of the most touching encounters was with this gentleman who was picking up cans um, because he said that he would rather uh, hustle to make his money than steal. This man was highly intelligent. He had a job at one point making $100,000 a year and uh, just fell on hard times and grew up in the church. His mom took him to church every Sunday. He remembered uh, being in the choir and um, being part of several different ministries, always helping, always serving uh, in the church. But um, when we asked him about his relationship with God and uh, how he knew he was saved, he said, because I'm a good person, because I did a lot for people, because I helped a lot of people. And um, we immediately knew that um, he needed to I come to the Lord. Of course, the Bible says that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God has raised him from the dead, then we will be saved. And we prayed with him and prayed the prayer of salvation with him and for him uh, to ensure that he was indeed saved. Uh, but that encounter really revealed that, um, and is a is a bit of an indictment on the church in terms of how we have um, served or informed people about the way to uh, gain eternal life, to get into heaven, um, and uh, good works, being a good citizen, doing things for others. It sounds good, uh, but unfortunately, none of those things will get us uh, into heaven. The only thing that will is receiving Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Um, if you have not done that and um, you feel a tug to do that, um, all you have to do is simply accept the fact that you are a sinner. We're all sinners um, by virtue of what Adam did, uh, the first man on the earth did, and that sin passed to everybody. And uh, we're all sinners um, by nature. And then we have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, believe that uh, God raised Jesus from the dead, that Jesus died, uh, was buried and rose again for us so that we could have eternal life. Then we have to repent of our sins and make a genuine decision to turn uh, away from the wrong path that we were going on. Um, and then finally confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of our lives and give our lives to him and uh, invite the Holy Spirit, invite him into our lives to make us into the person that he wants us uh, to be. Um, so, and if that is you, um, then I would, you know, and if that ministered to you, then I would love to uh, just say a quick prayer with you, and I'll do that now. Um, Father, I thank you for every viewer who is listening, um, who may need to accept you as their Lord and Savior. I thank you that they accept that they are sinners, that they believe that you are the Christ, that um, you lived, died, and rose again for us, and um, that you are you want to come into their hearts and make them the person that you would have them to be. I thank you, Lord, that they accept you as their Lord and Savior, and they confess with their mouths that you are our Lord and Savior of their lives, and they repent of their sins and enter into this new uh, life with you. Uh, we honor you. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen.
So I'm just I had that on my heart to share. Once you've accepted Christ as Lord and Savior, um, you are officially in the kingdom of God. It doesn't mean that everything is going to be a bed of roses, per se. Um, the Bible doesn't promise necessarily an easy life, um, but he does promise that Jesus will be with you all the way. Um, the next step is to inform someone, another Christian of your decision, inform a church of your decision. Um, I invite you to share your decision with World Overcomers if you choose to do so. Um, 901-844-3000, And once you've done that, then I encourage you to get in a Bible-believing church where you can fellowship with other believers and be planted um, and attend regularly so you can grow uh, in the Lord and um, walk in the fullness of what he has uh, for you. Um, any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me. I'm at 901-844-3782, 901-844-3782. Email altronice.williams at gmail.com, A-L-T-R-O-N-I-S-E dot Williams with an S at gmail.com. Um, God bless. Thank you.